And for so many people that have been involved, then I'm going to introduce what, really the, the meat of the conversation, which is the veteran entrepreneur. And we've got several folks in this room who are just doing really interesting things. And I'm excited to showcase a couple of those things tonight. But um, I, I really want to give a shout out to Mayor Emanuel and his team. The mayor is, he's absolutely dogged about finding good ideas and expanding them. I know that when I worked in the city. He, he absolutely, when something's working, he says, how do we double down on it? And when it came to the bunker, it, was a, it wasn't a two-minute thought for him to say, we've got to do it. It's the right thing to do. It's about entrepreneurship. It's about veterans. It's about small business. It's about regional growth for the city of Chicago. And he's been all in. Governor Quinn has made an extraordinary commitment to 1871. I, didn't, I don't think I said this earlier, but we are going to be moving. This space is actually going to be expanding east. And we, there's 25,000 square feet that is unfinished right now, but you can take a look at it where the bunker will be moving in starting in October. So our planning assumption is October, we're gonna be moving in with 10 companies into a beautiful 25,000 square foot space supported by the state. Bo Steiner and the uh, Small Business Administration have been phenomenal. They really do care about this. Bo is dragging me to Washington, D.C. to go have a conversation nationally about better entrepreneurship. They've been awesome. Rodrigo, are you here? Ooh. Rodrigo, man. Uh, Leading Student Veterans of America and the Illinois Director of Veterans Affairs, Rodrigo, you've been phenomenal and a supporter of this. And Erica Borg, who just stepped out of that role, Erica's been a great advocate and leader in the state, now running IDOT. And Adam Pollard, I want to recognize you too. Adam here with DCEO, so great partner of the state. Howard, a phenomenal uh, leader and advocate for us. Tom Alexander, Dina, the whole 1871 team have been great. The interesting guys here. So, I want, let, let's give a round of applause to Mel Lyons, our DJ, former Marine Corps. <laughs> Johnny Van, what a great story. Thank you, brother, for your service. <laughs> Veteran Beer Company from Valparaiso, Indiana. Where? <laughs> Corona, I want to thank Corona and Brian Reaney, who got them here for us tonight. They've been great. Um, Mark Doyle with Rags of Honor. Mark, put your hand up, please. Mark Doyle's a phenomenal, phenomenal business. Mark Doyle started Rags of Honor to, to re-employ uh, unemployed homeless veterans to create apparel. And so every shirt that we have is going to be a Rags of Honor uh, piece of uh, apparel. I encourage you to go talk to Mark, spend some money with him. It's, it's money well spent. So thank you, Mark. Uh, Patrick uh, Pugh, who's retired Air Force, who's our photographer, videographer, give him a round of applause. <laughs> the National Veterans Art Museum, those guys have been phenomenal. So we really made a point to say, let's get all the veteran, can we get veterans to run every part of this event? We've done that. Veterans are running every single part of this event. I want to give a really special shout out to Emeritus, um, uh, Jeff Sherb, Kim Connelty, you guys have been great, you stepped up to the plate. Brian Fehrenbach, man, you stepped up to the plate. Where are you, Brian? Raise your hand. So here's a guy, Brian, uh, you know, not a veteran, but said, stepped up and said, how, how can I help? And as a young lawyer said, I want to support you financially. And that's what he did. So Brian, you made tonight happen, so I appreciate that. I'm going to give you a round of applause. <laughs> and then our friends, Brian Reedy, where are you? Our friends at Newark, Grub, Knight, and Frank, you guys have really, Brian, man, you've been critical. There he is. Thank you, Brian. And Matt Whipple and Paul Buckingham, the team there has been really phenomenal. I love it. I mean, I've never met a guy like Brian, right? And yet we work two blocks away from each other. Brian's former Air Force, I'm former Navy, we should have met. And we never did. And so this whole event tonight is a story about how do we create that connection, and really, because once you make that connection, guys like Pete Pace, right, I'm looking around the room, so many of you here, Megan, once you make that connection, the rest of it sort of solves for itself. So. Those guys have been phenomenal. I want to recognize a few others who've been really great. DLA Piper, Deloitte, Wintrust, um, Whitney Reynolds, who's here creating a show about this that is going to air on PBS. She's really out there fighting her brothers in the Army. She wants to create a national story about veterans doing cool and exciting things. So those are some of our sponsors. Let's just give them all a round of applause if we can.